The university hired new men's basketball coach, Jamin Copeland, this past May. Copeland hopes to change the culture at UT Tyler. Uh, having a family culture, loving each other, and uh, on the court wise, just when the fans at our game, we haven't done this yet, we're trying to get there. When the fans at our game, they know, uh, you know we got 15 Warriors on the floor, and we're the hardest playing team no matter what. Uh, we can hang our hat on. Some nights the shots just don't go in, but we always want to hang our hat on guarding and, and rebounding and playing the game the right way. After going 13 and 6 in conference and notching 18 wins overall in the season, which is the record for the most wins in program history, head coach Kenny Bizot resigned in April. The following month, Copeland was hired and has led the Patriots to a 2 and 3 start on the 2013-14 season. Right out of college, I was a high school assistant for a year. Then I got a junior college job at Trinity Valley. I was a junior college assistant for a year, and I got a Division I job at Texas State. And I was a Division I assistant recruiting coordinator for three years. I got a head NAI job in Florida, so I was a head coach there for four. And then I uh, got this job in May, so I'm the head coach of Division III school here um, for about six months. As you can hear, Copeland is very vocal in practice and in games. Despite the extensive preparation in practice, the Patriots have developed a habit in recent games. Falling behind early in games has become something of the norm, but Copeland feels it could possibly just be the adjustment to a new system. That's not our game plan, trust me. We yeah. just, uh, for whatever reason, we have not played well to start. Despite their slow starts, the Patriots usually come back in most of their games. This resilience is what Coach calls the warrior spirit. It was hot. We just stuck with it, stuck with it, made a run in the second half, took it to overtime, passed it a huge shot to take the overtime, and then obviously in overtime, you know, Nate made that huge play, and, and we won it. And, The Patriots' commitment to a team game is a true testament to Copeland's coaching style. He teaches them to never give up and always play hard, no matter what the score. Like, like I told my guys, we do commitment statements, what we're committed to. And um, I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to be demanding, but but fair, you know. And um, and really, I feel like I'm cheating them. If I if I don't uh, bring the best out of them, if I don't drive them to do the best, I feel like I'm cheating them. I'm not doing my job. So. Um, Whatever I got to do, whether it's patting them on the on the back that day, or um, or telling their actions are good enough, whatever I got to do to get to, to be their best, I got to do it. For the Patriot Press, I'm Brian Savins. Yeah. Yeah.